different things inspire me for different books. For Sisters Like Us, I was oddly enough inspired by a documentary about called The Last Man on the Moon, and it was about the last astronaut who physically walked on the moon. And what caught me wasn't him or his story, although he was a great guy. It was what it was like to be an astronaut in the 60s and how they were rock bigger than rock stars. They were scientific and American royalty. And when they came back from being on the moon, they traveled the world and, and they met princes and kings and prime ministers. But it was really hard for their family. Their families all, they were fairly isolated. They all had to move to Houston. They lived this very bizarre life where dad was gone for months and months and he could die. And while it was great for the country, what I was caught up with was what must it be like for the children. And from that, I imagined what it would be like to be a little girl and your dad would rather walk on the moon than go to your birthday party. So that sat with me for a while. And from there, I created this, the daughter and thought about what she would be as she grew up. And then she became the mother in the story, Bunny, um, for when you read the book. That's where Bunny came from. And then from Bunny, the, the two daughters were really interesting because Harper is very much like her mother and Stacy is very much like her grandfather. So while we, re we never see the grandfather, he has long since passed away when the story opens. He is an amazing influence on Grandma, who is um, an influence, therefore, on her daughters. And um, I just think it's fascinating to see how a seemingly unrelated events can cause ripples, like ripples in a pond that go generations into the future.